second-degree murder. Several vehicles belonging to the Humane Society of Greater Miami have been vandalized. All the batteries were removed and the cables were cut. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is live in North Miami Beach. And Aurelia, do officials have any idea who would do this? Well, Elliot, as you can see, there are several signs in the parking lot that indicate that this area is under 24-hour TV surveillance, but that didn't stop whoever came here and vandalized eight vans belonging to the Humane Society of Greater Miami. This is one of the vans that had its battery taken out and its cables cut, and as you can see, detectives were here dusting for fingerprints, trying to get to the bottom of who did this. Thousands of dollars worth of damage done to vehicles belonging to the Humane Society of Greater Miami, all caught on camera. Some employees came in to get the vans ready for deliveries and doing our normal day-to-day -day stuff, and car wouldn't start. Opened up the hood, the batteries are gone. Staff checking all the other vans and found that eight of their nine vehicles had the battery stolen, some cables were either missing or cut, and some of the locks on the hood were damaged. Obviously, we need cars because we have nine vehicles, so they're in use all the time. We take animals that need medical care that we can't provide here. We take them to local hospitals. North Miami Beach police detectives were called out to the facility located off 161st Street and West Dixie Highway. Investigators reviewing the surveillance video which shows a dark colored SUV driving up to one of the vans. At least one man is seen coming out of the SUV. He opens the hood of the van by prying it open. For several minutes, whatever the man is doing is hard to see, but then the man's vehicle is seen driving off. <laughs> Volunteers at the facility are saddened knowing what the nonprofit is going through. People should have better things to do than taking advantage of, you know, people who are just trying to do good. And staff members tell us they have no idea how long it's going to take to get the vans up and running. If you'd like to help, we have a phone number posted on our website, cbsmiami.com, where you can contact them uh, for more information. Also, if you have information on whoever did this, contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting live in North Miami Beach, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. Aurelia, thank you. Another